first of all, congratulations. What's it feel like being a manager? Yeah, very different. Uh, probably won't hit home until uh, I have to organise pre-season uh, with my staff and tell other people what, what, where and when they've got to be for pre-season, uh, rather than being waited to be told and having to moan up about when we're starting and uh, why we're starting so early and all that, you know. So it's, uh, it's exciting. I remember talking to you towards the end of your playing career and saying, what do you think you'll do afterwards? And you, you didn't really have a clue, but management wasn't high on the priorities. When, when did you think you'd become a manager or get into training, coaching? Um, I've got to be honest, I, I had five years out after playing uh, football and um, didn't really think that I would be getting back involved. I was having a lovely time going on holidays and skiing and whatever and enjoying what I did uh, far away from football. But um, just felt the urge to get back involved um, probably 18 months ago. Got lucky enough to get the chance to, to work at West Ham and uh, that's inspired me to, to go on to management. And uh, luckily enough for me, I've got the chance to work here. How important was that period at West Ham? Did you get a real insight into what, what goes on in, inside the top level of management? Valuable for me. I think uh, it, it was an opportunity that, that money couldn't buy. Uh, Sam was very open with me in, in everything that he did. Uh, told me about what was going on and, and meetings that he had with different people and players and all the insight that you just wouldn't get as, a, as any new coach going into the job. I mean, you're, you're left on the outskirts of things really. So for him to embrace me, uh, I'll, I'll be ever in debt for, for, for Sam for, for that opportunity that I had last year. Obviously his future at West Ham is in some doubt at the moment. Do you think he'll walk straight into a, a top job still? Oh, without a doubt, without a doubt. Um, he's done exactly what was on the tin that was asked of him uh, at West Ham, uh, to keep the club in the Premier League. He did, did it for two years and then he did it last year with flying colours, without a doubt. Um, no ever questioning about relegation last season club are very stable which is which is not easy to do in the Premier League now because anyone knows that a slip for four six maybe eight weeks in, in a season which can happen uh, on a downward spiral you, you end up in the in a relegation zone and uh, you end up fighting all sorts of problems throughout the, the season but we were nowhere near that last year and, and that's credit to, to Sam Allardyce. One of the <clears throat> most important parts of being a manager is having a good relationship with your chairman and your owner You've just met your, your new chairman, your yeah. new owner here. Um, do you feel that um, Sam's relationship with his, with his boss is there? Is, is that, has that taught you a lesson about how you have to sort of manage those relationships uh, very carefully? I, I kind of knew that anyway. A lot of people had said, you know, if, you, if you're going to go into football, make sure you've got a good chairman. Make sure there's good people around you at the club. And um, whether, whether that's hindered him, I don't know. I mean, uh, they seem OK. Seem okay. I, I haven't had a lot to do with the, the, the hierarchy as such at, at West Ham, but they seem okay to me. Obviously, you're starting at the, the ground level. You've been there as a player in your early days with Millwall and Aldershot, and then towards the end of your career. But you've also played at some of the biggest clubs and under some of the biggest managers. I mean, what, how do you compare those experiences? Will that be valu invaluable for you down Again, here? The, these experiences hold you in good stead, don't they? It's, it's not just about playing for the top clubs and playing in the big competitions. It's about being down there and fighting relegation uh, in, in the lower leagues and being involved with players that can't quite do as, as good, of, good of things as you'd like them to do. And uh, I've probably seen, I wouldn't say I've seen everything in football, but I've been around a lot. I had 25 years in, in the professional game and, and I've, I've seen a lot of good and a lot of bad over the years. So uh, I'll take that as my experience and take that into management and good and bad managers that I've worked for as well. And, and uh, try and try and use all the good points rather than the bad points that, that I've seen. I know it's a question you've been asked a lot because you you've played under so many of the, of the legends of, of management, like Brian Clough and Alex Ferguson and Terry Venables, in Glen Hoddle, George Graham. So are you looking to take something from all of them? Without a doubt, without a doubt. I, I don't. I'm not trying to be Sir Alex Ferguson. I won't be trying to be Terry Venables. I'll be trying to pick little bits out that that I really liked about them. And I'm sure I'm going to upset people along the way with, with certain things that aren't said right or come out the wrong way or you know, you're trying to get something out of players that they don't realise. The, the same way I got, I got upset as a player when I was a, a youngster, listening to the likes of George Graham, you know, having a go at me every day because 
he wanted me to be a better professional. And if I feel that's a, that's a route that I might have to take to, to speak to some of the younger players, then, then that's what made me a good player over the years. And uh, again, it's an experience that I'll hold with me and, and, and use it if need be. Obviously, you're starting at the lowest level of professional football here, but how far do you think you can go in management? Your ambitions to be right at the very top? I don't know that, Jerry. It's a, it's a gamble for, for Stevenage to take me on, and I'm very grateful for that chance to, to be here this, this season. And uh, we'll see where it takes us. You know, I'll, Hopefully, I'll do well this year and then see what happens after that. And you've joined a, a, a club with a lot of your old mates in it. Jurgen Klinsmann's there, for example, and a lot of the boys from Tottenham and uh, Manchester United days. Would it be strange now going to maybe the, the league managers' dinners and the, and the get-togethers and rubbing shoulders with them as an equal? Yeah, it will be, yeah. Uh, very different. Um, when, you, when you're seen as a player, it's just a, a bit of a jolly up and all that. But when, when you go into the management business, I, I can see already that it's, it's serious stuff. And... Uh, Kind of looking forward to it. Any calls or, or texts yet? Uh, yeah, quite a lot, quite a lot. Um, but it's been good uh, looking at looking at a lot of them. It's been, been fun. And you'll be locking horns with them soon as well. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that too.